and as a result of her excessive time spent spent in the bathroom, the store manager confronted her numerous times. She knew the woman would be in for upwards of two hours, which meant she would be left unattended at her post. After the lottery company announced the first winner, the manager didn't pay much attention. The fact that it happened twice on the same day felt too convenient to her. However, when it happened 12 times in one month, she knew something was terribly wrong. However, Melissa Harding never imagined she'd end her day unlocking her ex-employee's lottery secret. Although she'd had a difficult time working with her for a year and a half, she was sorry to see her go. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Christy Ford, the mom, only wanted to make ends meet and care for her family despite her work issues, it to keep food on the table. Melissa never imagined she would go to this extent. However, Christy had made more than enough money to feed herself for a night. If she and her sons had wanted to, they could have eaten out in five-star restaurants all their lives. Her happiness should have made Melissa happy. Christy deserved it more than anyone else, but after winning the lottery 14 times, the manager knew she had to find out what was going on. She'd be rushing for her phone when she found what she'd found. Melissa had already spent two years as the manager of a local convenience store in Geneva, Illinois when she met Christy. The woman had been the quiet, ever-tired single mom with two boys in elementary school. After a nasty divorce, she'd found herself at the mercy of the world, needing to find a way to care for her kids. Melissa thought she was doing right by hiring the woman. She'd seen Christy move up and down the town streets, going into one business after another, searching for employment. Her clothes were tattered, and her hair was disheveled even though she did her best to look presentable. Hoping to help the mom however she could, Melissa hired Christy. She realized that the mom was a quick study and loved teaching her how systems around the store work. By the end of her first week, Christy was already making Melissa proud. Melissa had no idea that the mom had already set in motion a plan that would change her life forever. Christy's first month at the shop was perfect. She showed up on time, worked as intended, and left in the late afternoon so she could pick her sons up from school. She was a hard worker who didn't mind odd shifts or coming to work on holidays or weekends. This Melissa thought she only wanted to make as much money as she could, but the truth would be much more heartbreaking. Melissa learned that everything Christy was doing was for her kids. Her second month followed the first down to every detail. She never missed a day and even started smiling more instead of sulking alone in the break room, as was her habit. But just as things were starting to improve, everything turned on its head, resulting in a long and arduous 15 months for Melissa and the rest of the employees at the restaurant. Christie's behavior had taken a sudden dip that worried everyone in the store. But of late, she'd started visiting the bathroom for what felt like hours. At first, she told Melissa the frequent bathroom visits were because of a bladder surgery she had a few months back. But Melissa would find the truth out soon enough. Melissa didn't mind the bathroom visits at first. But when she started leaving empty shelves and sitting in the bathroom for long periods, Melissa became concerned. As the months passed, Christie's behavior went from bad to worse. What had started as 15 to 1 hour bathroom breaks soon turned into 2 to 5 hours spent in the bathroom. With her post going unattended, Christie was setting herself up for failure with her stunts. But with how big the pay would be, she saw this as worth it. Melissa found it challenging to keep Christy under her employ. Melissa was at a crossroads, caught between needing to fulfill her duty as a manager and fire Christy or still be a good Samaritan and continue sticking her neck out for her. You see, Melissa chose to thread the line between being Christy's friend and boss. But if she were smart, she should have taken one route and stuck with it. By the end of Christie's first year at the store, the state of her work ethic had taken such a hit that Melissa no longer bothered with her. She'd already hired a different shelf stalker and only kingly kept Christy around out of the goodness of her heart. She'd also cut her pay, promising to reinstate the full amount when Christy decided to take her job seriously again. But from where she stood, it seemed Christy didn't care about the pay cut. One of the town locals had just won the lottery from a ticket sold at their shop. The winner had requested her identity to remain anonymous, and since the prize money was $250,000, the Illinois lottery had agreed to their request. If only Melissa knew who this person was. As was required by company policy, Melissa informed everyone that a ticket from their store had won the grand prize. But she wasn't done talking when her phone started ringing again. She picked it up, and her lips parted in disbelief as she learned that the second runner-up winner also came from a ticket sold at their store. Melissa swelled with excitement. It wasn't every day that two cards from her store won the lottery, but out of the corner of her eye she saw Christy duck away from the group, disappearing into the bathroom. Where is she going? Where is she going? Where is she going? She asked everyone to return to their tasks, quickly passing by the bathroom to have a quick chat with Christy. Melissa had rarely been one to talk to people while they handled their business in the bathroom. It, when Melissa talked to Christy about her bathroom behavior, the mom only laughed and thanked her for understanding. I won't forget what you did for me, she said over the stall. The response caught Melissa so off guard that she concluded the mom might have been under the influence. 
Since are you okay? She asked, worry lacing her tone. I am Christy answered. I just need a few more minutes. Then I'll be out okay. Call me if you need anything, she said with knitted brows. Is there was something odd happening here. Christy came out of the bathroom earlier than usual, beaming and greeting everyone. This was the first time in almost nine months that people were seeing her smile. She went straight to the shelves on the last aisle full furthest from the store's exit, helping the new hire stock bags of potato chips. She had no clue that Melissa was keeping an eye on her. Melissa had been studying Christy the moment she came out of the bathroom. But as she watched the woman work, she picked up on something that told her she might have misread the entire situation. Melissa watched as Christy hurried to the counter and handed the cashier, Robbie, a thick stack of dollar bills. She held a seemingly delightful conversation with the man, her innocent smile still holding fast. They talked in hushed tones with Christy nodding a few times before walking away. But this wasn't what baffled Melissa the most. She was used to seeing Christy talking to herself. So when she saw him spend a few minutes talking to Robbie, she hurried to investigate. I see you have a new friend, she told the cashier, smiling. Who, Christy? Robbie answered, telling Melissa what the two had just discussed. It turns out Christy had borrowed $5,000 from Robbie and wanted to pay it back with interest. She was in such a good mood that she was tripling the cash Robbie loaned her. But to Melissa's curiosity grew at that. Where is she getting the money? Where is she getting the money? At first, Melissa feared that Christy was involved in something shady. So, she kept her eye on the mom for the next week. But after a while, she safely ruled that out. At the same time, her superiors called her again, claiming someone had cashed in another winning ticket. Like the first and second, this also came from Melissa's store. By now, she'd noticed Christy wore new, more expensive clothes and drove a sleek sports car. Something in her life had changed. Melissa needed to know what. Melissa hated that she was starting to obsess over this issue. Meanwhile, more winning tickets were coming from stores all over the state, totaling 11. Melissa realized that each time someone won the lottery, their name would be kept a secret. Christy would go missing for a few days and then show up decked in the most expensive clothing and jewelry. Melissa confronted her. She came to her as a friend, telling her missing work was a severe offense. If the higher-ups knew, even Melissa's job would be at risk. But Christy became hostile, leaving Melissa with no choice. It's Pia with tears in her eyes and a heart-pumping crippling pain through her veins. Melissa fired Christy, but the mom was nonchalant throughout the exchange. Instead of throwing a tantrum, she hugged Melissa, saying she would never forget what the manager had done to her when no one else wanted to help. With that, she left, but she wasn't out of the store before Melissa ran to the bathroom stall. She found it locked and had to bring Robbie in to bash it open. Melissa walked into the stall, finding an ordinary room filled with the door's splinters. Her sight landed on the toilet tank which sat at an odd angle, and she pulled it off, and she pulled it open. Her eyes broadened at what she saw. Taped to one side of the tank was a small logbook wrapped in plastic. Melissa knew who it belonged to. She opened it, her furrowed brows rising. The book contained pages of math equations surrounding lotto numbers. The equations had narrowed to a few thousand tickets that could be the winning ticket in each lottery ruffle. A chill clambered up Melissa's spine as she came to a staggering theory. Christy had been the one winning the lotteries across the state. 